Hey guys, I'm Lily, and I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, Kittizen, and here on YouTube. And today I have just another uh, Goodwill haul for you. This, I believe, is the last of what I did last week. Hopefully, I think I picked up some summer stuff. Maybe not branded, but um, I think they'll sell because summer's coming. But first, I wanted to talk about my video the other night where I was wearing my pigtails. Um, the winner um, asked me to pay it forward. And so the second person will have their choice. And since there was a close third, it'll be between those two. But also in the description box, um, said that I was gonna send everybody a little something. Now it may be a bar of soap, it might be a pair of earrings, um, just something little. Um, but nobody has sent me their address in my email so that I could send them something. So if you haven't purchased something from me through PayPal, that is the only way I have your address. Um, I need you if I need you to send that to me through uh, my email so I can get it off to you. If you purchase something through Poshmark, I don't have access to your addresses once I print the label and ship it. Um, that's gone so and you know and if you if you don't want a little something from me um, don't send me an email but <laughs> I mean I w there were 17 people that um, commented and it was very important to me that night um, because it was, I had a, I had had a really bad week and that day especially was bad and you all made me smile with all of your comments and so that's the least I can do. It's not going to cost me much. A few bucks in shipping. Um, but I would like to do it as a thank you for um, making my night uh, a little bit more bearable. Because you did. And I really appreciate it. So if you haven't sent me your address, please do that. So I can get your gift off to you. And it'll be random. and it, you know, But it's something. Um, okay, so let's start with the haul. It's early. I get to pick up my truck tonight, hopefully. no mer Barring no emergencies on my mechanics part. And it should be good to go. I'm so excited. I'm finally going to get it back. And running. I don't have to borrow my son's car anymore. Alright, this... Um, the brand tag is gone, but I was assuming that it was a good brand. It was made in El Salvador, size 14, and it's just a beautiful um, maxi dress. It's rayon. Um, it's got kind of a little bit of a texture to it, um, but I like the color blocking on it. So it's gray and cream, and then this is this is like a navy. And it does have a side slit, but it's not um, it's not too high. Oh, so I like that. Summer is coming, so I really did try to pick up some summery type things. And again, not all of them are going to be brands that, you know, these are bread and butter things. And I'm probably not going to put prices on the screen because I have a ton of stuff to do today. Um, I need to go to the bank and out the money for the mechanic and um, I might accidentally find the Goodwill while I'm there <laughs> because you know it's kind of hard to go to town and not not hit the Goodwill all right so this is it's called heart soul size large this is also a maxi dress and then this really pretty geometric geometric pattern I believe this is polyester it is a maxi dress and it is lined so I believe it crisscrosses in the back yes okay so this is the front this is how the front would look and then the back is crisscrossed crazy I know this is crazy it's early. I still have not finished my first cup of coffee. But so it crisscrosses in the back. 
Um, just a, another beautiful summery type dress, size large. And I love these pants. I thought they were just as cute as could be. Jones, New York Sport, size 12, and stretch. And does this scream summer or what? The blues, the yellows, the oranges, these are capris. Um, love those. Pockets in the front, pockets in the back. I believe they're cotton. Stretch cotton. 97% cotton and 3% spandex. So yeah, those are really cute. I like those. Like I said, all summery type stuff. Not all, but I tried. Okay, advanced apparels, free size. This is also a semi maxi dress. It goes down to the ankles. It's very gauzy. It is a little bit sheer. Um, they have it knotted in the front, but um, I'm going to wash it and I'm not going to wash it with the knot. So if you want to knot it, you can. But uh, it's not meant to be that way, but it's cute that way. So yeah, it's just a free flowing. It's not tie dye, but it's tie dye ish. Very cute. Like I said, uh, one size fits most. It does have pockets. Love that. I really love that. Mm. This I'm not selling because it. <coughs> I'm going to keep this. This is a free people bodysuit. Um. Because I love this color. It's one of my favorite colors to wear. But it's not new with tags. Even though it looks like it has never been used. I wouldn't touch it if, if I thought so. Um, it feels kind of strange selling it. But this is an intimately free, free people um, bodysuit. So size large, I think. Yeah, size large. I just... I just really like it because it, it's bloused here, so it's not like going to be a tight fitting bodysuit. And here I have a, another London Times. That seems to be a pretty popular with my age group because the feel of the material is so nice. Made in Sri Lanka, size 10. It's also a maxi dress, a uh, sleeveless summary, but look at this beautiful flower pattern. I don't know if you can see it all or not. So hard to show things. I gotta, once I finish my fireplace, I think I'll switch my taping to um, that area. Have a little so I can stand up and show you a little bit better. This is a beautiful, another beautiful dress, size 10. Ooh, this was a good pickup. Diane von Furstenberg, size 8, wool pants, and burgundy, kind of burgundy. They look red, but they're a little darker. Wide leg pant, excellent condition. Um... Most of my stuff of hers does not sell um, well, but I think these pants will. So I picked those up. And remember, none of this stuff, none of my hauls uh, usually will go over uh, $4, and that's high. Usually I'm in the $290, $330 mark for cost of goods. Forgot to mention that. All right, buy junk food, size extra large. It is just a cute little dress with, let's see. It says Blondie Camp Fun Time. Uh, like little totem poles, I don't know if you can see that. Buttons up the front. It's got a tie for around the waist. 
Just a nice summery dress, extra large. Um, cute, just below the uh, knee, I think. Yeah, it's a little bit longer in the back than it is in the front. Oh, I've been eyeballing this for a month or more. It is linen, dry clean only. It is a size small. It's Taylor G. Let me show you the tag first and I'll turn it inside out. I believe this is linen. Let me just double check. Well, I have to find another tag. Anyway, this is a two piece set. You can wear it with or without the jacket. It is a maxi, and it's purple, and it's very plain until you get to the bottom, and look at how pretty that bottom is. It has got the embroidered applique flowers all the way around, and then on them cooler summer nights. Um, gosh darn it, where's the material tag? I'm pretty sure it's linen, um, but I will make sure. You have this cute jacket that you could put over it. Again, it's got that beautiful bottom there, and it does have ties, so you can cinch it at the waist if you wanted to. Um, I don't know why someone didn't pick this up. It's beautiful. Um, Anyway, it was 99 cents that day, so this I got for 99 cents. So if you're a small, this would be great for a summer wedding as a guest or just to wear out. It's just, it's beautiful. I love it. And I saw that the color tag was 99 cents and this, this little booger was still there. I snatched it so fast. That, that is just, I just love it the bottom of that dress. It is gorgeous. Love it. I wish I was a size small. Okay. Good clothes. Why did I pick these up? Size 10. These are like velveteen. Um, I call them gaucho pants. What you call them? A really wide leg. Um, just below the knee. I think they're, you know, actually they're kind of like corduroy, a very thin corduroy. Um, but I loved them. Side zip. No pockets, but I think they're very trendy. And they're a size 10. And the legs are very wide. I'm going to say... I mean, like, they're very wide. At least 18 inches. Hmm. Well, who knows where I put my... Oh, I had to go measure some boots this morning. So it's in my other room. All right. Anyway, nice pants. Size 10. <sighs> Here's another Van Heusen size 10 very summery side capris they're a um like a kiwi green they're not showing up they're showing up lighter than what they actually are but they're very nice um front pockets back pockets they have a pocket on the bottom here these are capris van Heusen, size 10 And you guys know I get really good deals on my hauls, more so the hauls I get from the Benz because it's so cheap. Um, I will bundle deal on those. The ones I get at the actual Goodwill stores, um, yes, I do discount them quite a bit off of what I'm going to list them for, but not as probably not as good of a bundle as I do when I get them from the Benz. 
Just a heads up on that one. All right. I got this because I just loved the way it felt and it looked. It's called Cinema E Tole. Cinema E Tole. Um, and I'm not even sure. It was like no. I'm not even sure if this is to wear to bed or to wear under a suit jacket. Um, but it feels quality. I did not look it up, but it was a size large, I thought. Yeah, it's a size large. So if it ends up not being worth anything, I'll wear it as pajamas. All right, we are almost there. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, I did get me a couple things. Probably shouldn't show the things that I'm going to keep, but I'm going to. I'm going to anyway. I love Athleta. And I love wearing uh, like swim shorts, ones that have the built-in panties, or North Face skirts, Athleta skirts, that sort of thing, in the summertime with sandals. So this is an Athleta skirt. It is a size large. It has a back a zipper pocket. Now this is mine. Um, and it's a longer skirt. So it's going to hit probably right at the knee. Um, but I'll live in these in sandals and tank tops in the summer. So I got that one. And I got another identical one in an olive-ish green, more of a brown, but it looks brown, yeah. So anyway, I got those for me. And who are you? It has been dry cleaned. This is called Strut and Strut and bolt. Never looked up, looked it up. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure if it is one of those that these young girls are putting like a body con type short things on and just slipping this over the top of it for an evening out. But it is long. Um, it reminds me of. St. John, was it St. John? Their slip dress. Um, I got one of those in a threaded box one time and I sold it in like 10 minutes. I priced it like, I, I think I got $90 for it. I priced it way too low. Um, but it sold and it paid for the box. So I'm not sure about this. I'm going to look it up. Strut and what? Strut and bolt. It's a very sheer, like over thing. I mean, you could do many things with it, but I think it's that's what it's for. If not, it would be a great swimsuit cover, even. And another one of my favorite brands is I got a Vineyard Finds pair of slacks in peach. Size 6, so it's women. 100% cotton. Um, excellent condition. I love vineyard finds and I love selling vineyard finds. I usually sell it fairly quickly, although I have a couple things in my closet that's not sold yet. Uh, oopsie, this might be another one for me. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Here we go, it's a Columbia skirt. Summer's coming, has pockets. I can rush up the sides, and by golly, this has the undershorts. So yeah, these are mine. <laughs> now you know what Lily wears all summer long. Oh, I forgot about these little bunnies to put in Ollie's closet. They probably won't bring much. I don't know. I picked up a couple dolls. 
for his closet not too long ago for $1.99 and they're listed for almost 50 bucks a piece. So I did not look this up because my phone was not working in the store that day, but I'll list them in his closet. I'm sure some little girl would love to have these. I forgot all about those. All right, Velour Pants by Zara. My dog's name, Zara. USA size medium. I got them because they were new with tags and they retailed for $89. They're like a velour velvety stretch, even though they have the hook and zipper. They have an elastic back and they stretch. Excellent condition, new with tags. They are like a brownish, they look black in the camera, but they're really more of a brown, metallic-y brown, very soft, and brand new. USA size medium. So I think they'll do okay. One last thing that I had to have. This was brought out on the new rack, and I just... I fell in love with it. Um, am I keeping it? Maybe, maybe not. It depends on if somebody wants it. And I need to comp it out. I think this comped out well. Um, it's L-U-I-I. -I, size large. It is a color block. Wool. Um... Not vest. What do you call these? Cardigan, almost. It's got pockets. It's wool and I believe Angora. Missy. Let, Let me see. Wool, polyester. The lining is polyester and acrylic. Just gorgeous. It is a wool sleeveless. Look at those collars. That collar is just to die for. Um, it's like a wool cardigan. Look at the back. It is lined. It does have, I mean, just look at that pattern. It does have the slit right here. And it has all the buttons. If you want a button, you can leave it open or you can button it. Had to have this. Paid full price for it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep this or if someone on here just has to have it. I will probably list it if uh, I get no likes or bites, then it might end up in my closet. Um, very warm, but yet not constricting and not too warm because it's sleeveless. So, love that. All right, so that is the last of my haul for last week. So, remember, if you like anything you saw here today, obviously email me because I'm probably not going to put prices on the screen because I want to get this video um, up and um, make sure everyone gets me there addresses so I can just send him a little something for making my day a lot brighter the other night on the 7th because I needed it. Today is the 9th and nobody sent me their address and I, I had about half of them but there were 17 people so I would like to send you something little. Um, like I said it could be soap, it could be some wax melts, it could be a piece of jewelry um, just something little as a thank you. So if you haven't done that already and you feel comfortable doing that, I am I'm quite an honest person if you haven't figured that out yet. Um, your information stays with me. Um, please do so so I can get those out before the end of the week. Um, I have my list and I have bags set up and I'm starting to mail them out today. So um, I will be contacting the two runner ups 
Um, Mo, thank you for being such a sweet, kind person and asking me to pay it forward. Um, I feel like at some point, maybe we may have crossed paths since we were, um, I grew up where you live. Um, I spent 36 years there, so I mean, it's possible we crossed paths. It wasn't that as big as it is when I was growing up as it is now, so. Um, but wouldn't that be something if we actually knew each other from years ago in childhood days? So, anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Um, of course, I'll be bringing Ollie's box on Friday and another jewelry sale. Or a couple, probably. And um, I did order a very small men's box. 10 pounds, or 10, yeah, 10 pounds, so it's going to be very small. So, I will see you guys soon. Lily out.